okay, so good people. Today let's talk about Razer keycaps. And you know what? I don't mind making a video about keycaps because nobody cares about graphics cards right now. And so this is something fun and new for us. And this is kind of relevant in the current time of my space in the keyboard department because I want to build my next keyboard, like, you know, go into the custom round because every time you publish a gaming keyboard review or something like that, there's a lot of you who are like, hey, you pleb, why don't you go custom? So I'm kind of in the, you know, towards that route. The keyboard accessories kit from Razer. So these are exciting because first of all, going the custom keyboard route requires keycaps, requires like different accessories and stuff that might not be super widely available. So Razer going the route of offering coiled cables, PBT keycap sets, there's gonna be a little bit more of availability and less of a barrier of entry if you're looking to go custom. Now I do have their previous PBT keycap set, so it's exactly the same thing. Now they're just bundled with a coiled cable that we'll take a look later. I have the pudding keycaps from HyperX, so I can show you the comparisons between the Phantom Edition, which in my opinion do look better. I'm not a huge fan of pudding keycaps. Uh, the RGB glow, is, of course, is extra extra, but perhaps that's not my thing. And they also have all the keycap sets from Corsair, so all the colors and can we just agree these are better because PBT Double Shot Pro, okay? Razer doesn't have Pro in the name, so obviously Corsair is the winner here, but uh, we'll take a look in terms of font, quality of the keycap, texture, feeling, and installation, and what you can expect if you go ahead and buy yourself a keyboard accessory kit upgrade. Introducing a new way to temper glass with the Divider 300 series from Thermaltake. I love me a good triangle. There's certain mystery behind it with a flexible interior layout so you can showcase your system in a particular way. The Divider 300 TG, triangle the right way. Okay, so first quickly, let's cover the wrist rest. These are new in terms of design uh, versus what you might have gotten with the previous Razer keyboard. So the exterior perimeter is low profile. It is still plastic. We have large rubber feet at the bottom to prevent it from sliding, three sizes of Available, so mini, TKL, and full, fo uh, full, fo full form factor, full size keyboard. I can't speak today. To the touch, it feels nice. It's that fake leather material, uh, has memory foam on the interior, but it doesn't have much memory to it. It just bounces right back. And I've used these for a couple of weeks and I don't like them. I'm sorry, Razer. Because whenever my skin makes contact with this surface, it just gets sweaty and over time it gets sticky. So I prefer to use my glorious hard wood. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One second, let me get it. So this is that wood wrist rest I'm talking about from Glorious. It has no heat accumulation and I just find it much more comfortable versus what you find with these leather reds where my wrists just kind of like sink in. I do not like that at all. But hey, you get the stickers, my friend. That's right. It is now all worth it. All right, let's talk about the keycaps, shall we? ASMR for keycaps, am I right? So what you're looking at right now are four sets of uh, standard PBT keycaps that Razer has been making, but now with a coiled cable included that color matches the thing. So pink, Razer green, white, and black. And the more interestingly are the new Phantom keycaps. And uh, those only come in black or white, but actually now we also have the Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed, their 65% wireless keyboard. Check out my review over here. But the Phantom Edition now includes the Phantom keycap set, pre-installed by default. Inside each pack, we have mechanical stabilizers and we have optical stabilizers. So that's nice to have. And also we have the four pallets of the keycaps with Unfortunately, with a plastic keycap puller that might scratch an ABS keycap, like if you're replacing something slightly older, and I wish that we would have seen like a metallic proper uh, keycap puller like we see from Ducky. But these Phantom Edition keycaps are pretty fascinating because they combine that whole translucent skirt that we see on pudding keycaps, but also we have a slightly transparent, slightly thinner layer for the lettering, and that is how it gets revealed through illumination. And so with these black uh, Phantom keycaps, you can go really stealth 
So everything is completely hidden, or once the illumination is turned on, you actually have a bit of that RGB glow through the bottom skirt and also through the lettering. So in a completely dark environment, you can see how little light spill there is coming from the pudding layer of this keycap. But I also love when the illumination on the keyboard is completely off. It looks super stealth, thus the phantom name. Uh, but it's cool how you have that dual personality with RGB illumination. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I do have two complaints over with the phantom keycap sets. So number one is that line between your top layer and the translucent layer at the bottom. It's, uh, you know, it's quite visible. It's smooth. It doesn't, you know, like rub off on, on your fingers or anything like that. But visually, especially on the sides of the keyboard, it looks a little strange. And for number two, the top coating of the keycaps is a little too glossy slash reflective for my taste. In terms of feel, let's not forget the Phantom sets are ABS keycaps, but they still have a bit of texture on top. And because of that slightly glossy layer by default, it helps to camouflage your traditional glossy fingers with ABS, you know what I mean? We also love to squeeze the keycaps for durability and they do flex because of that translucent layer. It's just not as strong as what you could expect from a high quality ABS keycap because the walls are fairly thin. But they have to be, okay, in order to have that light spill from the bottom, translucent layer. I mean, it makes sense. Now the white Phantom set looks way different versus what I was expecting, just because the translucent layer is much lighter in color versus the almost gray top. Unfortunately for many of the white Phantom keycaps, I can actually put my nail underneath and remove that top layer. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I can basically do that with every single one of them. Is that by design? Am I supposed to do this? Now on the white keyboard, it does look very interesting and unique. Although to be honest, the color discrepancy between the translucent layer and the top layer throws me off and it's not exactly my thing. Also a quick note about installation of the Phantom sets. Since you cannot actually see the lettering, you know, through this regular light, you have to put them against the light source in order to detect that letter and only then pick out and place it in the appropriate location on the keyboard. So. It does take a little bit more time than usual. Okay, so as for the rest of the PPT keycaps, I love these. I love the pink, I love the green, you know, the black as usual. The white one's awesome because it's like pure white. Double shot PPT, so really strong walls. There's absolutely no flexing here. Clean font, like what we've come to expect from Razer over the last couple of years. The Windows key, however, has not changed. So it's the old logo instead of the new upcoming Windows logo. But these coiled cables, I mean, so first of all, in terms of color matching, they've done a fantastic job. It matches to the keycap color exactly, but the cable is fairly short, so that's kind of unfortunate. And the coil, in terms of like the actual diameter of the coil, it's much, much smaller than all my, well, I only have two custom cables, one from Ducky and one from Glorious, but this just feels like, uh, Kind of a disappointing attempt at like adding value to try and sell keycaps. The coil shape doesn't stay right. The braiding is a little too thick, so the cable just kind of stays in its own position. Yeah, come on, Razor, what you doing? <sighs> razor, Razor. Now in their defense, Corsair, for example, doesn't offer coiled cables, but in terms of keycaps, they're basically identical in terms of build quality. Uh, I do prefer Razer ones more because of the cleaner font, but look at this beautiful mint green from Corsair. It is gorgeous. Also Corsair includes these O-ring dampeners that you can put underneath the stem to give you a slightly more silent profile and give you a bit of that softness when you bottom out. But really the final conversation here is about value. So the PBT keycap set plus the coiled cable goes for 50 bucks. The Phantom keycap set goes for $35. The wrist rests are 20 bucks and the Phantom Edition Black Widow V3 Mini is for $199. So after checking these out, I definitely know I won't be going towards the Phantom route just because I don't like that 
top layer. It's a little too glossy for me, despite having that really cool stealth phantom look. I really like the quartz pink from Razer in combination with the white PVT keycap set, but look at how fantastic and vibrant the pink set looks from Corsair. Regardless of which PVT set you choose, they all have 120 keys, uh, double shot PVT, like strong walls. I prefer the texture on the Razer ones. It's, uh, it's like less slippery when you're just like sliding your finger on top. Uh, the texture, I think, is slightly more coarse, which is what I prefer. All right, so those are the upgrade kits for your keycaps from Razer and how they compare to Corsair and uh, HyperX offerings. Let me know what you think. I'm Dimitri. Thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content. Subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next video.